So let's say hypothetically you wanted to sign a left back because your first and second choice left back were out for a sustained period of time due to injuries then I think it would probably be wise to bring in a player who, I don't know, is not consistently injured and who's unlikely to get injured during this period. Instead, United have decided to sign Sergio Regalon, who last season, whilst on loan at Atletico Madrid, managed to play just over 300 minutes in all competitions, and the season before at Tottenham also picked up some injuries, only playing 25 Premier League games. But whilst this may sound concerning, I think if Regalong is able to stay fit and perform at the level we know he can, then I actually think he's a better signing than Mark Cucurella would have been. But why exactly do I think this? But before I go any further, are you looking to dramatically improve your fantasy football points score from last season? Well, let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Fantasy Football Fix, which is the perfect tool for anyone who wants to get the best possible start to this FPL season, as they provide an Elite 11 team reveal which allows you to track fantasy football's greatest ever managers in real time. With over 82 top 10,000 and 61 top 5,000 finishes. And just in my opinion, if you're not using this and someone else is, you're at a massive disadvantage. But not just that, Fantasy Football Fix also allows you to see the pre deadline captain ownership data. The assistant manager tool also allows you to unlock transfer optimization. And you can also get predicted prices data to potentially get an advantage in the long run by increasing your team's overall value. And alongside this, they also have stats from Opta, they have predicted player points and much, much more and I personally will definitely be using Fantasy Football Fix and I'll be setting up my own Fantasy Football League so I'll put a code somewhere either on the screen or in the description so not only can you join my league but you can also use Fantasy Football Fix to try to beat me as well and so I'll leave it linked in the description for you to go to after this video. So if we look at Regalon's FB Ref report from his last full season which was Tottenham during the 21-22 season, where the majority of his appearances came as a wing back under Antonio Conte, we can actually see that his ball progressing and creative output actually looks pretty good. Whilst his short passing ability and his overall pass completion rate doesn't exactly look that good, and he certainly wasn't providing a lot of ball progression from deeper positions, you have to remember that as a wing back for Antonio Conte, he was being asked to push further forward, and when he was receiving the ball in these advanced positions, his output was actually very, very good. You can see that he was ranking between the mid 80th to low 90th percentiles for his XG assisted as well as his passes into the penalty area, whilst also being one of the highest volume crossers in the league, ranking in the top 1% for the actual amount of crosses he put into the penalty area. And even when it came to him progressing the ball into dangerous areas via his ball carrying, his output also looks pretty impressive here, ranking in the mid 80th percentiles for his progressive carries, and his carries into the penalty area whilst ranking slightly lower for his carries into the final third. Compare this to Mark Cucurella on the other hand, and he's more of a fullback that you want in deeper positions when you have possession, basically playing as one of the wide players in the back three, as Cucurella doesn't really have the same creative ability that Regalon has, not having the technical ability or composure to get the ball out of his feet in the final third and deliver a dangerous cross or pass into a good area. And so to me, it's slightly baffling why United were targeting these two players specifically, as really when you look at them from a statistical point of view, they're completely different fullbacks. Whilst Cucurella is much more similar to someone like Aaron Wambasaka, someone who can provide a certain degree of ball progression from deeper positions, and mostly is going to be there as a recovery defender because of his pace, Regalon is the complete opposite, more akin to someone like Alvaro Fernandez, essentially a wing back in possession, providing those overlapping runs ahead of either Garnacho or Rashford, and when he gets into these crossing positions where he's got space between the opposition's defensive line and goalkeeper, he is very good at putting in low crosses across the box, or cutting balls back to the edge of the box for one of the midfielders to run onto. And so to me, despite Cucurella being United's first choice, I think Regalon is the much better left back option, not just for Ten Hag's system as a whole, but also for Marcus Rashford and Garnacho ahead down that left flank. Now he's certainly not the type of fullback you want inverting in field, which is probably why he's fallen out of favour with Postacoglu, who's happy to allow him to leave, because Destiny a doggy just plays that role a lot better. But Regalon is a fantastic overlapping fullback, and I'm surprised he hasn't been picked up by other clubs. I mean, Atletico Madrid did sign him last year, but he really wasn't able to establish himself as their first choice left back and despite falling out of favour at Tottenham and not really doing anything of any significance over the past season, Regalon actually before that was actually linked with United and he was probably one of the most promising left backs in all of European football. I did do a video, I think it was three summers ago, when United were being linked with both Alex Tallers and Regalon, and at the time I thought Regalon was a better player, and I would have preferred United to sign him. 
I'll leave that video linked in the description in case you want to go back and see that video. If not, I might repost it on my channel. But if you do look back to Regalon's Sevilla days, he seemed even more impressive than when you just watch him for Tottenham because he's done it for a few seasons. And at the time, Julian Lopetegui was the Sevilla manager and the system fit Regalon like a glove. He was given the freedom to push forward down the left flank and essentially providing the width in the system. And this is definitely something I can see translated to United because at the moment, United really do struggle when they keep the two wingers wide and they essentially become isolated. Because on the left side, Garnacho doesn't really have the vision or the passing ability to pick out passes when he's coming inside onto his right foot and so he's forced to try to dribble a lot of times which leads to a lot of possession losses and whilst Marcus Rashford certainly has the ability to drive past players particularly around the box he's not exactly the type of winger who's going to receive the ball in a deeper position on the flank and burst past a player and get into a crossing position before then picking out a cross and so I think with Marcus Rashford you need a fullback like Regalon behind him who can provide those overlapping runs basically dragging the fullback away from Rashford giving him that space to then come inside onto his right foot or if the fullback holds his position Rashford is excellent at playing those incisive threaded standing passes where he basically doesn't even have to take a step he just threads the ball down the line for a player like Regalon and you have to say that Regalon from these crossing positions where he's putting in low crosses across the box you'd have to say that he's probably still one of the best players at doing this in the league at the moment now Alvaro Fernandez I think is a player who could have also provided this personally I would have preferred United just to keep Alvaro Fernandez and bed him into the side I mean he's not a youngster coming through the academy who's going to be 17 or 18 He's played the season in the championship and so I thought Fernandez was more than ready to now come into United's first team and at least have a sustained run of games until Malassia and Shaw come back. But given that it's Sergio Regalon who's the one coming in rather than Mark Cucurella, I'm a bit more confident about allowing Fernandez to go out on loan because if Regalon can return to the form that he showed under Lopetegui at Sevilla during the 1920 season where he was playing in a system a lot more similar to Ten Hag's rather than the one he was playing in for Tottenham under Conte then United potentially have a fantastic attacking fullback and you can see this when you look at the passing metrics from his FB ref report in the La Liga 1920 season where he's ranking in the 80th or 90th percentile range for pretty much every major metric you would want from your fullback and the same goes when you look at the carries part of his FB ref report, where he's ranking in the top 90th percentiles for his progressive carries, his carries into the final third, and his carries into the penalty area. And so if Ten Hag can get Regalon back to this sort of form, United potentially have one of the best overlapping attacking fullbacks in the league. Now whilst Ragalon is fantastic going forward, he does potentially have a few weaknesses when he's defending. Like Kukurilla, he can overcommit in certain situations, jumping out too early and leaving space in behind, or moving to pressurise a winger, getting caught flat-footed and then beaten down the flank. However, I have a lot more confidence in Regalon's defending ability than Cucurella's. Cucurella, every time I watch him play, if he's not initially able to make an interception or a tackle as soon as the player receives the ball, I just don't think his defending ability is anywhere near the standard needed. And whilst I'm certainly not saying that Regalon is a defensive specialist in these 1v1 situations, I just think he's tackling technique and his overall composure in these situations is a lot better than Cucurella's. And whilst I do see him being exposed during certain games, maybe from aerial situations as well, I think when you look at Regalon's game as a whole, he's a massive net positive for United. And given his ability to overlap Rashford as well as his output in the final third, I think he has the potential to completely change United's left flank when they attack. And I'm not only interested to see how Regalon performs with Rashford down that left flank, but also how the arrival of a true overlapping fullback affects Rashford's game. Dragging defenders away from him when he has the ball and giving him more freedom to move inside, rather than being forced to strictly hold a position on the flank, being responsible for the team's advanced width. If you do want to see it, I will try to get round to a more tactically in-depth analysis of how Regalon will affect this United side. So if you do want to see that video, let me know in the comments, as well as your overall opinion on the sign-in. And subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you do get notified when my videos come out. And check the description for more videos as well.